say that I'm got going through. Thank God, but I can come out on the other side. Hallelujah. What was designed to be a hinder, God has blessed me and now it's a help. Hallelujah. It's bringing me out. Hallelujah. There are things that's being discovered. Because whether you know it or not, when God created us, God put greatness in us. Yes, he did. Amen. And you can see that a lot of people are not in Christ, but they do great things. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. Amen. So he created greatness in us. Yeah. Amen. The problem is that the greatness that was created in us, amen, has been buried under a spirit or a attitude of negativity. Yeah. Amen. Thank God it's buried. Yeah. Amen. Thank God. So all now basically we see is the negative stuff. Yeah. But now we got to wake up. Yeah. Amen. We got to open our eyes and realize who we are. Thank God. I was born to have dominion. I was born to be a, a ruler. I was born, amen, to be an overcomer. My existence here, amen, is my birthright. Thank God. I wasn't created to be a slave. Hallelujah. I was not created to be intimidated. I was not created to be fearful and inferior to anything or anyone. I was created in the image of God Almighty. Therefore, I get an attitude when people try trying to demean who I know that I am. Yeah. Thank God. So, so you got to understand, hallelujah, that it's all about our attitude. Thank God the attitude is that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Well, the Bible goes on to say in Romans chapter 8, verse 37 and 38, the Bible tells us, Amen. Thank God in Romans chapter 8, amen, 37, 30, amen, he says to us that I will more. We're not just conquerors. We're more. Yes. Hallelujah. We're more. Yes. Thank God. That means I can rein it in yes, Lord. and I can rule over it. Yes. Hallelujah. I, let me say it to you another way. I'm in charge here. Yes. All right. uh, hallelujah. Thank God. I'm in charge here. The Holy Spirit has empowered me and gave me power over this. I'm in charge here. Amen. So I conquer the things that challenge me. Amen. And bring them under my rulership. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Amen. Think of, you got to understand that greatness is in you, but you got to get an attitude. Amen. Thank God that nothing can stop me. Living right. All right. Amen. I'm more. You, now watch this. Here's an attitude that, that, that should be exercised that perhaps is not exercised as often as it should be. Because we have the attitude when we speak, greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. That's an attitude. That means what's working is me is greater than anything that come against me. What's great, what's in me will outlast anything that come against me. Greater is he that is in me than he that cometh against me. I am greater. No matter how great it is, ah, what's in me is always greater. That's an attitude. You may be big, but I'm bigger. Uh, that's an attitude. Yes. Amen. Christ intend that his people walk in victory. Yes. But we cannot walk in victory unless we have a victorious attitude. Yes. Oh God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Thank God. I'm going to tell you this today and some of you may disagree. But you don't wait for victory to come. <laughs> victory is already ours. Right. Amen. It's already ours. Yeah. Amen. It already belonged to us. The deception is that we are waiting on it. We're waiting on it to come. The Bible declares that when Christ rose, he led captivity captive. Amen. Everything that bound us, he conquered it. Amen. 
That's the foundation for a positive attitude. Everything that I'm going to lead or need in life to get from if I reach 100 years old, thank God, everything that I need has already been paid for. Thank you, Amen. It's already, he has all, let me say it to you this way. He has already deposited it into my account. Now, now all I need to do is go and make a withdrawal. It's already there waiting. Already. But if I cannot get my mind, if I can't get my mind to the point where my mind received that, then start thinking that through my thought pattern and it start coming out of my mouth in words, I will always remain in limbo. Holy God. Amen. Thank God. So, to be aggressive through, ah, uh, thank God, uh, the word and through my abilities. Amen. You have to make it a point. Oh, God. Yeah. Thank God. When it comes to your goals and your successes, yeah. you have to make it a point. Amen. Thank God to do what others say you can't do. All right. Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. I don't, you, you shouldn't let anybody tell you about, amen, your limitations. Thank God. You ought to set those for yourself if you want some. Yeah. Uh, don't let anybody else set them for you whether it's in walking with God or whether it's in the secular world whether it's whatever kind of a future that you want in the world what kind of career you want what kind of amen thank God lifestyle you want to live you don't let other folks set that for you amen thank God because God has placed in us abilities and then what God will do he will put people in your path Oh, yes, he will. He'll put people in your path to help you. He'll put people in your path to assist you. He'll put people in your path that have what you need. Amen. Thank God. God will do that. He'll bring people to you. People will be drawn to you like a magnet. They'll come to you. Amen. Because of the attitude that you have. Amen. Thank God. This attitude will draw. Oh, God, have mercy. It will draw a certain type of people to you. Oh. Yes, it will. Amen. No, any and everything is going to reproach you when you've got the attitude. Amen. Thank God. They're not going to do that. Because, amen, thank God, they understand that your attitude about life is different. Thank God. I, I, you know, amen, I'm not walking around looking for folk to give me anything. All I need is an opportunity. And God has promised to give me opportunity. Hallelujah. Thank God. So he will start putting people in your life that will give you opportunity. Amen. It would make, make it out plain so that, amen, what you need, other folk will just discern and start helping you. You don't even have to go out asking for it. They will just start helping you. Amen. Thank God. And so what I'm trying to get you to understand, it's all about the attitude. The attitude of opportunity. The attitude, amen, that will allow me to see my potential. The attitude that will allow me to see what God wants to do through me. Amen. That working with God all things are possible. Working with God, there is no limit. When you get the right attitude, things will start changing in life. When Joseph was in Egypt in Potiphar's house, amen, God blessed him, put him over Potiphar's house. Potiphar put everything that he had in the hands of Joseph in the house of Potiphar. Amen. Thank God. But Joseph had a winning attitude. Joseph had decided that before, amen, he would defile himself or before that he would sin against his God, he would take whatever punishment, amen, that Potiphar wanted to put on him. Therefore, amen, thank God, he held on uh, to uh, his attitude he said to her, amen, everything in the house is mine. All right. I've been placed over everything in the house except for you. Yeah. All right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank God. My master give me everything yeah. except for you. Yeah. Now how can I commit this terrible thing and sin against my God? 
Thank God. He had an attitude. What do you mean approaching me? Hallelujah. What do you mean trying to bring me down? But what I'm trying to get us to understand is there are some things that ought to insult you. Yes. Uh, some things that ought to insult you. Amen. Thank God. And you, your attitude rise up. What do you mean? Approaching me like that. Hallelujah. What do you mean? Talking to me like that. Thank God. No, no. You don't do that. Amen. I'm somebody. I got respect for myself. And I'm going to respect you. Thank God. But I got an attitude. My attitude is, thank God, that you can't just say what you want to say like you want to say any time you want to say to me and I not say something back. Praise you, God. I bless you. It's the attitude. Oh, God, I praise you. It's the attitude. Yes, Father. Attitude. Lord. Saints need attitude. And I'm not talking about negative attitude. I'm talking about a positive attitude. Yes. That I can handle whatever come my way. Whatever the enemy brings, that I can handle it. Thank God God has equipped me for this purpose. Hallelujah. Maybe he just brought me here for just such a time as this. This may be my time to shine. My time, amen, to glorify God. My time, amen, to let people around me see exactly what I'm made out of. Amen. See what's on the inside of me. Because what's inside, amen, thank God, the outside will eventually line up with what's on the inside. I don't care whether it's good or bad. Thank God that whatever is inside, the outside eventually are going to line up. Amen. Thank God. Criminals don't become criminals overnight. It is something inside of them that has been there for a while before it ever shows up on the outside. Amen. Thank God. So if I'm going to be victorious, what's inside must, amen, cause the outside to line up with what's inside. It was said, amen, that uh, uh, the monks was moving a statue of Buddhas. Amen. Thank God. Covered with clay. And that, amen, while they were moving the stature, amen, they did not realize the value. Therefore, amen, as they was trying to get it moved, it said that the rains came. Yeah. Amen. Start raining. And amen, thank God, uh, the next day as they went back to uh, continue to get the stature to take it to, amen, wherever they were going to take it, that they noticed, Amen. In the cracks of the statue, amen, there was, there was a glittering of, of shining like light that was, amen, shining through the cracks. So they got a chisel and chisel away the clay. And as they chiseled away the clay, they found now that inside of that clay was a solid gold statue of Buddhas. Amen. Thank God. So sometimes God has to chisel away. Uh, he have to chisel away, amen, the stuff, amen, that is hiding the greatness that's in us so that, amen, we can really see the value of who we are. Amen. Thank God because some of us don't understand our value. And so sometimes when stuff starts happening, amen, and you're getting all frustrated, and all God is doing is just kind of chipping away, amen, so the real you, amen, can come forward. The real attitude that you have can shine, amen, so that you will begin to understand the greatness that's in you. That's why we said greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. If you believe that, give God thanks. My last point is this. Jesus asked this question in Matthew 22. He says to the Pharisees, who do you think the Son of God is or the Son of Man is? What is your attitude about the Son of God? Amen. What do, you, what, what do you think about him? Amen. What, what, what's your idea? What, what kind of attitude? What kind of attitude do you have about Christ? Amen. That, that becomes a question that's certainly important to us. Amen. My attitude about him is that he can do any and everything. Amen. That's my attitude. My attitude is that he cannot fail. He cannot be broken. Amen. Thank God. Amen. That he can do exceedingly, abundantly, Above all that I could ask or think. That's my attitude about him. Amen. 
So whatever I get into my attitude is, thank God, he's already prepared a way of escape. Whatever, amen, he allows to challenge me, it's already been taken care of. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. So, 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 my eyes, oh God, amen, my eyes and my faith, amen, my trust and my belief is in him. I, I'm not going to keep looking back. Amen. Thank God. I'm going to look forward. Yes. Because everything that I need now is in front of me. Yes, Amen. Forgetting those things yes. which are behind. Yes. Well, people are saying, you remember back, you tried that before. That was then. This is now. Amen. Thank God. In my walk with God, in, 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 in natural things, I've tried stuff over and over and over. Amen. Thank God. Amen. I may take a break. Thank God. But I refuse to be defeated. Amen. It may take a while. Thank God. But eventually, I come out victorious because I refuse to give up. Amen. I will not quit. Amen. Thank God. Why am I not going to quit? Because I have a winning attitude. Amen. Thank God. Amen. If God keep you here, amen, just because you had a setback, don't mean that you've been defeated. No, it does not. Amen. Thank God. Take a break and move forward. Don't keep going back thinking about the failure. Thank God. Say this time is going to be different. Hallelujah. Thank God. This time I'm going to get it. This time I'm going to lift it. This time I'm going to overcome it. This time I'm coming out of it. This time is not going to be like the last time. I'm not going to get upset this time. I'm not going to get angry this time. I'm not going to be intimidated this time. I am not going to quit. Thank God because I am more than a conqueror. I'm not going to quit. I'm not giving up. That's what we call a positive and winning attitude. Hallelujah. Thank God. Others may sit by the sideline and wait for you to fail. Thank God. All that does is give you energy, motivation. Hallelujah. Others may criticize. Be not disheartened. Thank God, because they do not control your destiny. No, they do not. Amen. That's in the hands of God and you. Amen. Thank God. I understand that uh, in, in, in this biblical faith walking attitude, amen, that many Christians, amen, have settled for the weaker things. But my God is strong. Yes, yes, he, is. yes he is. My God is strong. Yes. My God is rich. Yes. My God is all knowing. Yes. My God is all powerful. Yes. My God is all wise. Yes. And my God said in his word yes. that whatever I need, he would supply. Yes. Thank God. So I'm, it's not based on who's around me or what the economy is or who's in the White House. Amen. Has nothing to do with what my God promised. Amen. He's Jehovah Jireh. He is our supplier. Amen. Thank God. So that's the attitude. Amen. Thank God. But now you cannot buy into speaking negative stuff like other people may be speaking. Amen. If you, if you, if you buy into that or allow that to be a continuous conversation with you, you will find yourself Amen. Dwindling and start speaking like they speak. Praise God. Amen. So what, what the Holy Spirit does, yes. amen, when he come as a comforter, a counselor, yes. and a guide, yes. thank God he come to lead and guide me not into some truth, but all truth. Oh. Amen. amen. Thank God. So I, I'm not looking at the facts. I'm looking at truth. He's going to lead me and guide me into all truth. All, the truth is I've been made free. The truth is that I have victory. The truth is that I'm above and not beneath. 
The truth is that I am the head and not the tail. The truth is, thank God that I am everything that he says I am. That's the truth. And he said, that's going to make me free. Truth is going to make me free. So I want an attitude of searching for truth. I'm not looking for facts. Amen. You don't have to hunt them down. They'll show up. And especially if they're bad. But if you want truth, you have to search truth. Amen. Take a, find out the truth about whatever is challenging so that through truth you can turn that into an opportunity. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That's the power of God. Thank God. I bought a bicycle. Thank you, Jesus. Some folks thought I was too old to get one. I went to Walmart. I went in and I bought me a bike. Praise God. I brought it home, put it in the storage room. They sat there for two days before I ever tried to ride it. Bless God. In my mind, I was saying I can ride it like I rode when I was 17. <laughs> but it's been probably 40 years since I was on one. So when I started, you know, I was a little wobbly. I thought once maybe I, somebody mentioned that to me, you need to get some training wheels. <laughs> yeah, amen. But, but I kept on, amen, wobbling out the driveway, you know. Thank <laughs> God. And I go down the street a little piece and come back, amen. And so every evening, I would take a little trip. Amen. Getting better and better. Thank God. Amen. So, so the other week, Hey man, I said, I'm going over to Bishop Clark's. And I started for the truck. I said, no, I'm going to ride my bike. And um, I heard a little voice say, you can't ride that far. I pulled the bike out, got over, and I wheeled up in Bishop Clark's driveway. He was standing there. He said, you ride the bike? <laughs> I stepped off of it. I said, yeah. <laughs> That's an attitude. Yeah. Put the kickstand down, walked on in the house. <laughs> That's an attitude. Hey man, you know what I'm hey man, you gotta have an attitude. Don't let stuff tell you what you can't do. Hey man, thank God. When I got ready to leave, I come back, kick the kickstand up and roll out the driveway. I left him standing out there in the yard watching me. <laughs> When I turned the corner, thank God, I said, go ahead, you got it. Hallelujah. But you know what? It took an attitude. I decided I was not going to be defeated. I wasn't going to get no training wheels. I'm going to master this thing. And I mastered it. If I believe I can do all things through Christ, I got to show some signs. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Amen. I, I couldn't just say that I say I believe I can ride over there. Uh -huh. I had to get on that bike and start riding. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That's attitude. Yes, God. Thank God. And there's such a confidence uh -huh. in when you accomplish yes, yes. what was in your mind. Yes, such a reassurance. Yes, and that's how God wants you to feel about him. In the attitude about him, when he bring you out of it, because others said it couldn't happen, thank God, then when you look back on it, glory be to God, you feel so good. Thank God. And you trust him with confidence because, hey, he showed me that he could do it. Stand on your feet. We're getting ready to go. Amen. Thank God. Attitude. Listen. Amen. Thank God. Now, I, I want to just share the, tell you this as we get ready to go. Amen. I, I, I believe this, that we are at a point now where we need, amen, to apply what we hear. Amen? Thank God. We, we need to apply 
what we hear. We don't want to be ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. We don't want to do that. Amen. Thank God. We want to scream and holler and run and jump and do all of that. Amen. Thank God. But we want the power of the living God resting in us. Amen. Thank God. He that is in us is greater. Christ is alive. Amen. He's not getting power. He is the power. Amen. And you, I, I have to speak. You have to speak. You have to start speaking over your own life. What do you want God to do for you? What do you expect from Christ? Don't wait on somebody else to speak it. Thank God. Don't wait on other folks to speak into your life. You got power to speak into your own life. Amen. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. You can pour into yourself. Yes. Amen. Amen. Pour into yourself. Thank God. Tell whatever this is, you got to go. Amen. Thank God. You got to go. I'm not, I'm not dealing with this anymore. You're going to have to leave here. You got to find another place. Thank God. I'm not going to pet you. Hallelujah. Thank God I'm going to resist you every step of the way. I am decreeing and declaring victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe God's word. Thank God you are healed. You are delivered. You are made free. Amen. Thank God the yoke is destroyed. The burden is lifted. Hallelujah. I'm trusting God. Amen. I'm developing an attitude so that this whatever it is can start listening to what I'm saying. 